Hello, let's make this model which is a coat of arms with a fleur de lis. So to start, I'm going to uh, define a curve. So uh, I'm going to prepare the curves for creating the emboss. So I'm going to start with the arc tool. So I define the first point, second point, arc direction and we have the very first curve and now with the normal curve I'm going to define the second curve so just picking the points where I want to define my curve and here we go once I have the curves uh, now what I'm going to do I'm just no, uh, editing the control points if I need to adjust any detail so just a small adjustment in these control points to change a little bit the shape of my curve here we go looks good now and uh, finally i'm going to create a symmetry so a symmetry from the center and i create my curve so it's a closed curve now with a join and uh, I will I will fill it uh, my uh, sharp corner so I'm just selecting the curve to fill fill it all these corners and now uh, it looks good I'm going to define a circle in here another one in here in the bottom and finally another one in the top okay so everything looks good um, I will need just to create the symmetry from this one to the other side and uh, I'm going to define from the center mirror and I have my curves uh, I will just do another one the outside curve so um, let me use the offset curve tool and I define the offset distance let's try 1.5 uh, let's see if probably is too big let's let me try again but a little bit less so undo and offset curve again and I will define uh, now one millimeter looks looks better it's what I'm looking for so uh, now I will uh, just uh, open the emboss and define the project settings so resolution in this case I put in the maximum I will define the size a little bit bigger than my curves and uh, I will start with emboss. So in this side panel, uh, I will start defining the emboss operations. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, to add a new, a new operation and operation curve, the outside curve. So I can adjust the profile as you can see. And looks fine. So I need to refresh to see the results looks good I add a new operation and the operation curve I will select these two curves so uh, I can hide the previous gumball and now I will just uh, need to adjust the gumball refresh this is the result uh, looks nice uh, probably under the, the operation settings I can define auto smooth no refresh again we have a sh more sharp edge and uh, now I will add a new operation with all the circles. So I select all the circles. I will make sure in the operation settings inflate by curve. So this means that it will get the center of each circle. And I refresh as you can see now. They look completely round. So uh, looks good. I'm going to open now the library. And I'm going to choose from the library, I'm going to use the fleur de lis. 
So, floor the list, I'm going to add it to the document. And now I will use it as reference for the next emboss operation. So what I'm going to do is just to move to the position where I want it. Uh, just move up a little bit. And uh, finally, I will be able to uh, add my new operation. So I'll just scale a little bit more. I want it a little bit bigger, adjust the size and looks fine now so uh, i'm going to select new operation and i'm going to define operation based on geometry well first i will just uh, smooth a little bit the previous uh, operation so i want to use just the smooth as you can see just to break a little bit this all these sharp edges just click and drag over the area you want to smooth now looks better so i can add now the operation I was mentioned before, operation based on geometry, and I will select the floor the list, the one we have imported, and refresh. So now I have also the floor the list embossed. So as you can see, let me just hide all the, the original geometry, and this one now is exactly what I was looking for. I just click OK, add the emboss to the document, and this is the result. Really easy, really nice. Thank you.